this series, we are going to showcase our travels for Turkey, all the delicious foods, and some of the friendliest people on the planet. So sit back, grab a kebab, and enjoy. You're in for a treat. Hello there, travel lovers. Hello there, and thank you so much for clicking on this video. We really appreciate it. And cheers to that. Cheers, cheers. Mm -hmm. mm. That's good. good. Yeah, That's pretty really damn good. good. <laughs> Amisha, I did not expect that Istanbul has such a massive nightlife scene. No, neither did it's I. It's incredible, actually. You know, and it's even silly to say this now after spending three weeks in Istanbul. Absolutely. To imagine that we thought that Istanbul had no yeah. nightlife at all. It's yeah. insane. And you know what's really interesting about it, guys, that it's not just stores, it's actually mostly locals that we see yeah. in the pubs, in the restaurants, in the cafes, no matter the day of the week. No, it's so busy. Actually, yes. in the evening, yes. it's like the city comes alive yes. more in the evening than in the day. That's another thing. I thought we're just going to go exploring during the day and make sure to be back home yeah, before it gets dark because I thought, oh, it's going to be dangerous, you know. Yes. But so that's a very good point, Justine. Yeah. How do you feel being a woman here in Istanbul, coming home late at night after a few drinks? Have you ever felt threatened? Not a single time. No. Not a single time, guys. No. Girls, if you're watching this video, don't worry. You're absolutely safe here in Istanbul. Oh, Justina, shall we talk about some of the seedy aspects here in Istanbul? Oh. What have we seen? So after probably five or six beers, <laughs> yeah. We've had enough courage to go into some of the nightclubs, yeah. but don't worry guys, we haven't stayed there for too long. Oh, Can you horrible. guess why? We've basically seen some women standing around the bar, around Ladies the table, of the night. and looking at us like, come, buy me a drink. We're like, no, goodbye. I'm not sure what the culture of clubbing here is like, but from the two that we walked into, yeah. it was really dodgy. Yes. So where are we now, Justina, talking about nightlife and stuff like that? Yeah, so right now we're in one of our favorite cafes, bars, restaurants, it's all in one. Yes, amazing. And this place is called Varuna Gezgin, yeah. which is actually amazing because they have <laughs> TV, they have really good stuff, really good food, and really good internet, guys. So we've been working from this cafe for like, I don't know, for the past three weeks, like yes. on and off. Yeah. And what I love about this place the most is the interior yeah it's kind of like a traveler themed absolutely um, restaurant bar cafe I don't even know what this place is it's a bit of everything I really. think there is a poster just outside the cafe where it yeah. says backpacking is live or something oh, okay. like that yeah and, and you can definitely sense that from the interior look how many different flags different posters yeah it's uh, amazing. Different pictures of the travelers so if you are in Istanbul make sure to come and check this place out it's so cool very travel inspired it makes us feel really at home yes. it's great okay so let's finish these drinks and we'll go and enjoy some kebabs oh yes Cheers. that is literally the best combination isn't it mm. ah your son son yeah nice good looking handsome that is a very sweaty burger. So this burger originated here around Taksim, mm. so we had to try it, especially after drinking a few beers. Yes. Hot water? Two waters. Two waters? Yeah. Okay, steam. Steam, yeah. Okay. Sorry, No problem, your English is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Bellissimo. <laughs> so it's literally like a steamed wet burger. As you can see, it's proper steamy and the burger is really, really soggy. <laughs> is it? Let me feel it. Oh, it's, yeah, it's quite moist. Yeah. So I'm just wondering if actually you do need to have a few beers in order to enjoy this, or is it good enough to have on its own during the day without any drinks completely sober. Justina, I want you to try it first and let us know. Oh, okay, yes. put me on the spot there, let's go. Mmm, <laughs> that was a mouthful. Mm. You really went for it. Ooh, oh, wow. good signs. Really rich tomato sauce I'm tasting in there. Oh, I can smell garlic. Very it is garlicky. garlicky. It is garlicky, but also really nice tomato sauce, really fresh. And did you know, guys, that this burger does not contain any extras whatsoever? So no lettuce, no cheese, just a simple bun, which is very, very <laughs> soggy from all that steam. And 
isn't a patty and it's usually a veal or beef. Look at you spreading open that bap like that. So how would you rate it? Mm, I think I need to be a bit more drunk to actually fully enjoy that. Really? But it is good. Okay, interesting. Interesting mixed mm. reviews from you. So how would you rate it? I would probably give it a good seven. That's still very high. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's like burger from Justina is a seven out of ten. Okay. Not bad. Shall I film your reaction? Yeah, I need yeah. to hold the camera because my arm is shaking. <laughs> All right, my turn, guys. I'm actually quite excited to eat this. I love how you get ready to try something. It's like yeah, like oh, like to limber up and stuff, like no. a box or something. No, seriously, I'm really excited to try this because the last few videos I've tried some pretty unusual things here in Turkey. The kokorek. Is it kokorek? Kokorec. Kokorec. Wow. Kokorec. <laughs> Misha is so bad with her pronunciation oh, when it comes to I'm foreign words. I'm such a flesh. stereotype, aren't I? I'm so British. That's okay. Absolutely useless. That's okay. Mm. Mm. It's just very garlicky. And tomatoey. Mmm. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay, isn't it? I'm not gonna go, yeah. wow, it's like the best thing ever. Let me try it again. Mmm. It does taste, yeah, very um, soggy. Mm -hmm. Like the bun is soggy. The meat is very simple. It's kind of like eating like a, a plain hamburger from McDonald's or something like that. Very thin patty. Uh, quite garlicky with the with the tomato sauce. Interesting, interesting. Let me try it a few more. You might have to order your own if you want some more. <laughs> mm. I probably wouldn't order this during the day, just like walking around the streets. Unfortunately, it is definitely associated to drinking, coming home, grabbing it on the way home. Um, it's quite cheap as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, seven Turkish lira. So what's so that? About 60p. So for 60p on the go burger, I would say definitely go for it. So let us know, guys, where's your best place to get Islak burgers in Istanbul? We know there's quite a few areas. Leave a comment, let us know. <laughs> I have been waiting for 30 minutes in a queue just to taste this doner kebab. To be honest with you guys, we have been in Istanbul for about three weeks and this is the first kebab shop in which we've seen an actual queue. So we were walking around going, maybe we should try it, see what the hype is about. We never normally do that, but considering we're here in Istanbul and we haven't actually had a proper doner kebab yet, we thought, why not start with the best? <laughs> what I do know about this kebab shop is that it has been claimed to be the world's largest kebab. I'm not talking about the wrap, I'm talking about the spit. It is absolutely ginormous. Unfortunately, we have arrived here around 4 p.m., so I would say that they've actually just been shaving away at that ginormous slab of meat all day, and now it's like a sliver. So if we wanted to see the huge scale of that kebab meat, we would have to come here at 10 a.m. Will we come back? Maybe. I think I would really like to see it, to be honest with you. But if not, here is a picture instead. I think the meat inside is lamb. And to be honest with you, I am so desperate to try this now after waiting for half an hour. And really, I just want to answer the question, is it worth the hype? So let's see. I love lamb so much. Mmm. It's just so full of flavor. Oh, it's absolutely amazing. Really? I was just trying the lamb on its own. The meat is what makes it, obviously. It's really, like, full of fats and chewiness and goodness. Everything that I love in lamb meat. Now, Justina, I don't know if you're going to like it because you're not a fan of lamb, but as a lamb connoisseur, <laughs> This is a really good uh, durum, and durum means wrap in Turkish. So uh, it's a very good kebab wrap. Actually, it's an excellent kebab wrap. 
I'm so glad that we came here to try it. It's amazing. And I love the size. It's so petite. You know, you can just grab it. It's not too filling. Here's a close-up of the wrap. You can see there's meat. Is that um, tomatoes? Yeah, tomatoes. And I believe that's a chili. So yeah, very, very simple ingredients, but it's the meat that packs the punch. So I already had a few bites of this kebab and I must say it is pretty damn good. Even though I'm not a huge fan of lamb, like Misha said, she knows me. I usually prefer chicken, but this meat tastes really good and delicate actually. And I really like that there are some pickles in there. My oh, yeah, favorite. Secret yeah. Secret pickle, love pickles. So that's a very good word, delicate. Yeah, very delicate. And you're right, it's so easy to eat it. It's not like one of those British kebabs where it's like, ah, 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 you know? It's just like hard. I really like that. It fits in your mouth so easily. Yeah, it's like bite size. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. And there's so much meat. Look at that. Yeah. Lovely. So guys, if you're in doubt, don't be. You should definitely check out this kebab shop. Okay guys, so we're gonna end the video here. We have really enjoyed eating some of those weird and wonderful foods. However, I don't think we could possibly eat any more. However, <laughs> I do think that we are able to drink a few more drinks and we are in a really cool area of Istanbul. You could probably tell around me that it's so busy right now and we're being tempted by loads of different happy hours so for now guys if you have enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe and for now cheers to freedom Woo. <laughs>